Hello, everyone. I am Hima Kanti. I'm a postgraduate resident studying in Father Muller Medical College, Mangalore. Today, I'll be talking about how hepatic cirrhosis is an independent risk factor for severe disease in patients with COVID-19, a computer tomography study. <clears throat> The aim of the study is to find the association between hepatic cirrhosis and CT severity among COVID-19 patients admitted in tertiary care hospital. Hepatic cirrhosis is defined as intrahepatic fat of at least 5% of liver weight. Simple accumulation of triacylglycerols in the liver could be hepatoprotective. However, prolonged hepatic lipid storage may lead to liver metabolic dysfunction, inflammation, and advanced forms of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Non-alcoholic hep hepatic steatosis is associated with obesity, type 2 diabetes, and dyslipidemia. Several mechanisms are involved in the accumulation of intrahepatic fat, including incre increased flux of fatty acids to the liver, increased de novo lipogenesis, or reduced clearance through beta oxidation or very low-density lipoprotein secretion. Global prevalence of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease has increased in the past two decades, and it has been calculated to be up to 24%. Imaging plays an important role in its assessment and non-enhanced CT has proven to be a useful and accurate non-invasive method for diagnosing hepatic steatosis and quantifying the severity of liver fat. Real-time reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction is accepted as the reference standard in the diagnosis of COVID-19. However, the sensitivity of RT-PCR is reported to be not very high in the literature and the rate of false negativity varies between 30 and 70%. Continuation of negative results in the repeated test causes difficulties in the diagnosis and delays the treatment. In COVID-19 patients with false negative PCR, the CT of the chest is valuable diagnostic tool with high sensitivity. Although COVID-19 is a disease that primarily affects the lungs, the involvement of different organ systems has also been described in recent studies in the literature. Liver injury related to COVID-19 is a frequently mentioned consequence of such involvement. The relationship between non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and COVID-19 has also been investigated in a limited number of studies. Pre-existing non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is associated with a severe cause of COVID-19. Patients with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease may be vulnerable to COVID-19, thus identifying those with pre-existing liver disease is important in the early stage of the disease. The present study was conducted to find the association between hepatic steatosis and CD severity among COVID-19 patients admitted in tertiary care hospital. This is an observational study. Uh, the patients who were clinically suspected of having COVID-19 infection who underwent both chest CT and RT-PCR were included. Uh, the study was done in Father Muller Hospital between May to September 2022. Using this formula, the sample size of 96 was obtained. The inclusion criteria, patients who were found to be positive on RT-PCR tests and who underwent chest CT scan for COVID-19 and radiologically detected to be CORADS 4 or 5. Uh, exclusion criteria, patients under the age of 18 years and who received an intravenous contrast agent for examinations and the patients with chronic liver disease. Methodology. The observational study was approved by Ethics Committee of our hospital. Patients clinically suspected of having COVID-19 infection who underwent both chest CT and RT-PCR during the study period were included in the study. In all the patients, PCR and the chest CT were performed on the very same day. High-resolution chest CT was performed using both 128-slice multi-detector scanners and 16-slice multi-detector scanners. All the scans were performed without IV contrast media with the patient in the supine position during an inspiration. The following technical parameters for you used tube voltage of 100 kV, tube current at 90 to 300 MAS, spiral pitch factor at 0.98, collimation width of 0.625, and slice thickness of 1.3 mm with a sharp reconstruction kernel. The following CT features were recorded by a radiologist. Laterality, involved lobes, peripheral versus central involvement, number of lesions, certain lesion types like ground, gla ground glass opacities, consolidation, interlobular septal thickening, crazy paving, air, air bronchograms, linear opacities, Obesities, adjacent pleural thickening, pleural effusion, halo sign, pericardial effusion, bronchial dilatation, vascular enlargement, atelectasis, and lymphadenopathy. The level of suspicion of COVID-19 has been graded with CORAT score. CORAT 1, where COVID-19 is highly unlikely, CD is normal, or there are findings indicating a non-infectious disease. CORAT 2, the level of suspicion of COVID-19 is low, and CT findings are consistent with other infections. CORADS 3, COVID-19 infection is unsure or indeterminate, and CT abnormalities indicate infection but are unsure whether COVID-19 is involved. 
Korats 4, where the level of suspicion is high and most CT findings are suspicious, but not extremely typical as unilateral ground glass opacities, confluent or multifocal consolidations without a typical location or any other typical finding. Korats 5, where the level of suspicion is high with typical CT findings. The CT severity score was calculated based on the extent of low bar involvement. Each of the five lung lobes was visually scored on a scale of 0 to 5, with 0 indicating no involvement, 1 indicating less than 5%, 2 indicating 5 to 25%, 3 indicating indicating 26 to 49 percent, four indicating 50 to 75 percent, and five indicating more than 75 percent involvement. The total CT score was the sum of individual low bar scores and ranged between 0 to 25. 0 being no involvement and 25 at maximum involvement. The mean CT attenuation values of the liver and spleen were obtained in Hound's field unit for the detection of hepatic steatosis. The density measurements were made by placing four regions of interest of approximately 150 millimeter square in the right lobe, right lobe of liver and two region of interest in the spleen and the average was taken. Results. In the present study, 96 study participants diagnosed with COVID-19 were included. The mean age of, of the study uh, was at 57 plus or minus 14 years. Majority, that is 50%, belonged between 60 to 61 to 70 age, years age group. Male was the majority in the study. The mean BMI in kg per meter square was 27 plus or minus 2. Distribution was based on comorbidities show that 63.5% were diabetic, 54% were hypertensive, 3% had cardiac disease, 9% had pre-existing lung disease, 19.8% had renal disease and 25% were smokers. Based on the CT findings, 68.7% had CORATS 5 findings, 15.6% each had CORATS 4 and CORATS 6 findings. In the present study, 55 study participants had hepatic steatosis. Based on the CT severity score, a severity score of less than 19 was observed in 38 study participants, and more than 20 of CT severity score was observed in 58 study participants. Association between CT score with hepatic steatosis shows a statistically significant association observed as majority, that is 47.9% had a CT severity score of more than 20. CT severity in our study also found significant association with age, gender, obesity, hypertension, diabetes, renal disease, or any comorbidities as the p-value calculated to be less than 0.05. These are histogram images which show that 68.7% had CORATS-5 and uh, Certain comorbidities like obesity, diabetes, and hypertension were strongly associated with the severity of the disease. This is an image of a 55-year-old male patient. It's an unenhanced un un CT thorax, which shows average Hounsville unit of about 22 on the right lobe of liver. An average Hounsville unit on spleen shows 51. The liver to spleen ratio is less than 0.9, indicating hepatic steatosis. This is an unenhanced CT thorax of 63-year-old male patient. The average Hounsville unit of liver shows 25. An average Hounsville unit of spleen is at 57. The liver to spleen ratio is below 0.9, indicating hepatic steatosis. Our study had shown a significant positive correlation between age and CT severity. Similar findings were observed in a study conducted by Andre, where in logistic regression analysis, the only variables that remain associated with CT severity was age. Carmen also found age above 50 years was the only predictor of increased mortality. Obesity was significantly associated with severity of COVID-19. Similar findings were reported in Zeng's study that uh, he reported that the risk of obesity to COVID-19 severity is significantly greater in those with fatty liver disease. Evidence of increased hepatic and circulating interleukin-6 levels in patients with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, which might have an additive or synergistic role in promoting greater severity of COVID-19. Obesity and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease have been associated with increased production of pro-inflammatory cytokines, such as tumor necrosis factor alpha by adipose cells and Kupfer cells. Present study reported that those with any comorbid presented with higher CT severity score, which is similar to the study findings of Swati. In their study, reported that severe CT score of more than 15 was found in 33.3% of patients with comorbidity, while in 2.5% of cases without comorbidity. There was a strong correlation between the clinical and a CT severity score. A meta-analysis noted that the patients with underlying chronic illnesses were more likely to contract the virus, and their disease has progressed to severe. It was concluded that COVID-19 has an increasingly rapid and severe progression in patients with underlying medical conditions or comorbidities. Present study observed that hepatic steatosis is significantly associated with CT severity. Similar findings were reported by a study by Andre where hepatic steatosis is associated with CT severity. And these are the references. Thank you.